Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. But in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install Windows 10 to your computer. And if you're like me, you don't want to wait around until it naturally gets pushed to your computer. So this is going to be a way you can force download Windows 10 if you're running Windows 8.1. Now, if you're going to be installing Windows 10 over Windows 7, um, some people said they can do it this way through Windows 8.1. But if you go to this website, and I'll put the link in the description below, it's the Microsoft website, you can download Windows 10 and put it on a USB drive and then you know, install it that way. But a lot of people were commenting saying you can't do that as just the upgrade that's still going to charge you and you're going to have to get your activation key. Um, it's it's not a way that a lot of people are suggesting, but some people say they have been having luck with it, some people haven't. So that is one option. Now the other option in the way that I went is a little bit more complicated. And it goes through your actual Windows update, which is how you're going to get Windows 10 if you're running Windows 8.1 and you just wait till it gets pushed to you. And so to do this, you have to do a couple things before you run the actual update. You're going to have to go into your C drive, which is usually just your computer, and then you're going to go into the Windows folder, and then you're going to go into software distribution, and then within the software distribution folder is a downloads folder. Open that up and delete everything that's in that folder. Now, you can should be able to delete everything. If it doesn't let you delete every single thing in there, try to close and go back in and try it again. Maybe restart your computer to see if you can delete everything. But once everything is deleted, you can then... Uh, go to command prompt by right clicking on the windows button and you want to hit command prompt admin you don't want just the regular what you want the one with admin and now once the command prompt opens you're going to want to type w u a u c l t dot e x e slash update now once you hit enter it's going to execute that command which is basically long story short it's going to tell microsoft and that you know you want to get Windows 10 on your computer, so it's going to start downloading Windows 10 if it's successful. So get back to Windows Update, whether you want to go through Control Panel or search it. And once you open the Windows Update screen, it should show that Windows 10 is downloading. Now it took me three or four times to actually get this thing to work. And if it's not working, you know, just keep going back, delete everything that's in that download folder, try again, reboot your computer maybe once or twice, try again. I rebooted my computer like two to two or three times before it actually went through. And then um, I had to try it like another time after that to actually be successful. So what it'll do is it'll download Windows 10 and it'll go through and installing it. And that's where I had my errors and I had to try again. Then it installed completely and then I got the button to restart and then it restarted my computer. And so I couldn't be at my computer during the whole installation process. And so when I came back, I was greeted with the welcome back screen. And so basically from the point where you hit restart now until this point, it's all automated. You don't have to do anything. And so once you hit next, they're going to just want to talk you through all the boring information that's with Windows 10. You know, agree to this. Do you agree to this, that, and the other? Blah, 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 blah. You can pick whatever you want. And soon enough, it will take you to your desktop. So just log in with your password. It's going to set some things up for you. It's going to prepare your apps and your, just your desktop and computer in general. And once it's ready to go, it'll show up. And you got your desktop there and you're running Windows 8. And so if you don't get it the first couple times doing this clear download folder method, don't give up. I had to do mine four or five times till I got it to work. You could see by the command prompt. And eventually though, it just, it went through and it worked. Uh, I don't know if Windows or Microsoft servers are just really burned right now, but eventually it did work for me. If you have any other suggestions or tips to help it go smoother for somebody else, leave them down in the comment section below or any other ways that you found to update to Windows 10. I just wanted to share this because uh, some people shared it with me. Uh, thanks Nick and thanks Ergo for pointing me to the right links where I could check this stuff out. And I just want to share it with you guys if you'd like to update to Windows 10 before Microsoft thinks you're ready to update. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos from me. More Windows 10 videos will be coming in the near future. And thanks again for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.